In this video, we're going to update the situation on uh, Judge Annie T. Kristoff uh, over in, in Tennessee. Now, if you guys remember, Tammy is she was violated when this judge gave the rest of her awards to uh, her attorney that she paid already, and she sued the federal judge and the uh, federal attorney uh, on the federal level when the federal judge gave the rest of her award to the attorneys that she already paid. And and the magistrate judge, Judge Annie T. Kristoff, intervened. Okay, excuse me. Uh, judge, the magistrate judge was the judge that the case went. Uh, so Tammy filed her lawsuit in federal court against the other players. And the magistrate judge, uh, Judge Annie T. Kristoff, uh, took her, accepted her case without having a consent form signed. A magistrate judge only has judicial authority to be in your face if the consent form is signed by all parties. Anyway, so the consent form wasn't signed. Uh, um, judge Annie T. Kristoff uh, in, in, intervened. And she ordered Tammy to a show cause hearing. Basically, Judge uh, Annie T. Kristoff answered on behalf of the other judge and attorney, her fellow bar members that she was trying to help. She answered uh, on their behalf, ordering uh, Tammy to, to a show cause hearing. Now, Tammy's legal team is in the opinion that, uh, well, obviously, there's no show cause hearing that need to be. Are you kidding me right now? It's pretty clear that Tammy was violated by the procedures and policies that they use. And statutes are not valid laws. They don't have enacting clauses. They don't have titles and they don't have bodies. So statutes and codes are not valid laws. And that's the reason uh, why uh, Tammy's here in, in the first place. Um, so uh, now the judge and the attorney in, in, in the original case uh, um, lawyered up. Uh, from what we have learned. And uh, Judge, Judge Christoph is, we don't know, she's still, you know, working on the bench and still you know, violating people. Uh, and so, you know, uh, and I, I, you know, I couldn't understand the legal team. Nobody can understand how, you know, uh, Judge can continue to rule from the bench if she's or he is being sued. So we got a little research and we found out that uh, well, number one, Judge Kristoff is being sued by somebody else already, and we're going to take a look at that. We also found out, uh, after doing a little more research, that that the chief justice, the chief, the magistrate judge, the chief justice judge of the magistrate, <laughs> you know, the magistrate chief judge. So I'm thinking if the magistrate judge don't have judicial authority to be involved in your case, the chief magistrate judge, uh, I don't know, maybe I have on there, maybe they got some different rules for the chief magistrate judge, but a magistrate judge is a lesser judge and uh, is, you know, yes, here, take the trash. <laughs> That's what we said in the other video. I was just kind of joking around, but that, 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 you know, that, that pretty much wraps it up. Okay, the magistrate judge is a lesser judge. They use the magistrate judge uh, to, to help you get your case through the process faster, through their administrative process faster. So that's what, uh, you know, so the chief magistrate judge is, I don't know, according to what we saw, I mean, I don't really, I'm not that smart now, attorney, but chief magistrate judge is overseeing uh, the case against uh, against Judge Annie T. Kristoff. Now, in a judicial setting, if you have uh, an officer of the court that's, uh, you know, that's being challenged or sued or whatever, whatever, for violating uh, due process with the day-to-day -day procedures that the court uses every every day. Uh -huh. Well, you know, that judge is going to have to go do some paperwork for a while until he figure this out. Because if the judge continues to injure people past the time that that the judge's chief justice, if that's the next person up, or the, the chief justice for the magistrate, magistrate chief justice, and get that all right, uh, it's the next chef up that's supposed to foresee uh, the magistrate judge, Annie T. Kristoff, then you you would think that that chief justice would put her ass and doing some paperwork or something until we figure something out. Okay, so so the legal team and I, I, I'm I'm in the opinion also if the chief justice is, uh, the chief magistrate judge the magistrate judge justice the justice chief of the magistrate judge is going to allow a judge a magistrate judge that's uh, been sued to continue litigating cases and doing stuff and then anybody that gets injured. After 
after the magistrate judge took over the case against the chief judge magistrate. I got to get this right. The chief magistrate judge took over the case against the magistrate judge for being sued for violating someone else's due process, some 42 USC, whatever, whatever. Okay, and, and if that chief justice allowed the magistrate judge, the chief justice of the, the magistrate judges, <laughs> allowed the, that judge to continue violating people in the same manner, I mean, I don't know. I haven't looked up their case to see exactly what the problem was, but uh, maybe they figured it out that day to day process and procedures they're using are not laws, nor are they fair. Uh, so, uh, so if the chief magistrate judge is going to allow the judges underneath him or her to continue to violate people, uh, after it's put on the court record that the judge has a problem or there is a problem or whatever. <laughs> I'm trying to be nice about this. Um, then I'm thinking that that chief magistrate judge, justice, is uh, the one that's, uh, that should be responsible. Also, because that's the first check that's supposed to happen when someone complains. Your boss is supposed to do some shit. And, uh, you know, and so we're, you know, we're, we're, you know, I've been talking with Tammy's. We're, we're just going to add the chief justice, you know, to, to, uh, to lawsuit. And I'm, I'm hoping if, if Miss Young is, is watching this, then uh, she needs to uh, do something similar. Now, now that's not the only problem that I have. And, and, and maybe I shouldn't have this problem. I mean, okay, uh, let me back up. That's not the only problem that I have. And maybe this problem hasn't affected us yet, uh, but I'm gonna throw it out there. So if the magistrate judge is getting sued um, and then the magistrate judge's boss, the chief magistrate judge, is handling the case, is managing the case. Does that sound fair? That doesn't sound fair to Ms. Young because I'm thinking the chief magistrate judge has a damn conflict of interest. That, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking the chief magistrate judge, two, T-U-P-H-A-M-P-H-A-L, something, I don't know. We're going to pull it up in a little while. I'm thinking that the chief magistrate judge has a conflict of interest. Okay, it's kind of like uh, having the fox guard in the hen house. I mean, come on now. Oh, uh, we can expect, we can expect Judge 2, Judge Flam, I don't know, we're going to pull it up here in a minute, to be fair and oversee, oversee what's going on and the people underneath it. I don't know. I don't think they're going to be fair. So I don't trust their asses to be fair. So I'm just going to throw that out there. So, you know, this, this process... Oh, wait. Oh, oh, yes. We're here because the local rules allow them to do whatever the hell they want. The local rules. Yeah, they're able to use the local rules to continue to allow the judge to continue sitting on the bench with uh, two people, several. I haven't really done a whole lot of homework to see if there's anybody else. I know that uh, this uh, Miss Young stuff pulled up. So, you know, I mean, I, 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 I'm I, just a coach. I don't, I'm not an attorney. Um, you know, I spend my life boxing and playing football. Those two not smart people do. But the question that I have right now is where the hell is Tammy's stuff? Why, why is it that I can't pull her stuff up? She filed it. I have five stamp copies. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just asking. I can pull up these other people's stuff, but I can't pull up. I don't see Tammy's stuff. And 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 we did the video that uh, was sent to Channel Five. And uh, by the way, thank you, KCTV Five Action News. Uh huh. Bam! They're on the spot, and uh, they're requesting uh, a little more information about the situation. So that's real cool. Uh, Channel Five News. I'm Coach Neighbors. And I watch Action 5 News here in Kansas City. Well, not every day, but a lot of days. <laughs> Sometime I'm working. That's my story. Yeah, you guys rock. We appreciate uh, anything that you guys can do to shed the light on this situation. And I'm sure that there's going to be more people that come out of the woodworks uh, that have been violated like, uh, like Tammy has. So thank you. We appreciate anything you guys can do to to help shed the light on this so this young lady can be compensated for 
what she's been through. And, you know, I'll, I'm just going to throw it right out there. This could be your daughter. This could be your mom. This could be your sister. Yep. This could be your aunt. This could be your ass. Yep, the system's not fair. But having people in a position to shed the light on the stuff, uh, it helps immensely. Because these people, their biggest fear is to have everybody find out that they've been doing the same thing to everybody. So we're going to, I'm going to do a screen share. I'm getting a little worked up. <laughs> I'm going to do a screen share. And then we're just going to see what, you know, what we find when we search for Judge Christoph's lawsuit situation. Okay, so we're going to back up here where we started at. Oh, this is where it started at. We just put in the name Teresa Young and Donella D versus Annie Christoph. So um, this is what we pulled up and this is uh, this is her case. So we're just gonna kind of stroll down here and see what else uh, before we click over to where we were. Oh, uh, so uh, there, uh, so Miss Young and Miss uh, Donella, Miss D, they're also uh, per apparently suing uh, Judge Thomas L. Parker. Oh, so Miss Young here also worked for uh, the state. Oh, Judge Annie T. Kristoff, uh, Majesty Court Judge Annie T. Kristoff ordered them to dismiss her stuff. I wonder if Donetta saw if uh, if Miss Young, if Miss Teresa, and Miss. Uh, D signed the consent form <laughs> to allow uh, to allow the judge to interfere. Uh, a lesser judge that's supposed to take out the trash. No offense. I'm just I'm just kind of keep it straight in my head. <laughs> oh, that's eight pages of that. We've seen enough of that. Oh, okay. So yeah, here it looks like. Isn't it cool how you can just look up all this stuff? Oh, she looks like she started out young versus Department of Treasury. She started out suing the IRS. <laughs> oh, she was young also knows. Oh, okay, so she's just one person with the same two names. Oh, oh, Miss Young is up in the in the face. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Somebody's, <laughs> somebody, somebody's up in somebody's uh, face. Yeah. So I'm just kind of looking at these. It's all the same thing. Thomas A. Parker. Okay, she filed her unemployment action back in 2019. Oh, they removed her picture from from the website. <laughs> yeah, they removed her picture. They removed her picture. Oh, that's okay, cause I have it already. Okay, Judge Kristoff. Now we're just gonna do a little research here. I, you guys love seeing me. See. Manager Judge N.T. Kristoff, Western District. Oh, they took a picture down. We already been there. Our picture used to be on here. <laughs> oh, Judge Annie T. Kristoff. She has no opinions. Un no opinions yet. Huh. I wonder why that is. That seems a little odd. I wonder why she'd have no opinions. Oh, court calendar. Before July, she has like three couple of things for July. What's, what did she do for June? No, oh, she was real busy on June. Oh, the local rules. Ooh. The local rules. These are the illegal rules that they use in the administrative court. Well, they're not illegal for administrative court, but they're illegal for if you think you're in a judicial court and you're not the local rule now the problem the reason with the problem with the local rules is they're not connected to the constitution or any laws <laughs> and that's why we're able to do what we're doing oh uh, the local rule i'm going to have fun looking at these huh. okay well i'm going to have to save that <laughs> oh attorney's forms okay well i think we pretty much wrap this up um, uh, the judge Annie T. Kristoff has already been sued uh, by by somebody, and her boss is handling. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't think Miss Young and Miss I don't think Miss Young is going to get a fair shake. Her boss is handling. 
So let's just see what in yeah. Yep. Yeah, we'll go to end the screen share. We're 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 back in. Uh, uh yeah, so that's the situation that we have. And what we're learning how to do here is based off real time feedback from, you know, people calling all the time and, and reporting on 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 how, you know, in our in our coaching group on how how these people are responding to the documents that we're laying on the table. And so, uh, yeah, so that allows us to make real-time changes to make change to real-time situations uh, that most people have no idea about. So that's what we do here. Uh, thank you, Channel 5, for you guys looking into this situation. Um, I hope you guys thank you for, for, for getting our back. We, we really appreciate it. And so will the other people that end up coming forward after they watch your news after they watch your news piece about this situation going on in the Western District of Tennessee. I'm pretty sure it's not only going on there, but thank you guys for the value of watching your time. Make sure that you click on 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 uh, on the on the bell and subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know about the fire that uh, that we're bringing to the table. Uh, see you guys in the next video. Ooh.